What's up, sis? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kensha and welcome, sis. So, girl, tell me why I haven't done an empties video in like three months since October. So, I thought it would be pretty cool if I did an end of year Bath and Body Works and more type of empties video. So, sis, if you're interested in all that I used up in the last three months, then of course, stay tuned. All right, sis. So, jumping right into this. <laughs> Your girl got some bags of empties okay so the first thing i went through was a hand soap this is in a thousand wishes this was pretty good it literally, literally smells just like the body care a thousand wishes um, i have no complaints if you don't know sit notes are sparkling champagne crystal peonies and almond cream this was good i would definitely repurchase this you a thousand wishes is a staple gotta have it the next hand soap I went through was Winterberry Ice. Scent notes of this is Ice Cherries, Juicy Orange, and Snowy Lime. Now, I didn't get lime out of this. I mostly got the Ice Cherries and like a hint of orange. To me, this smell like cherry Kool-Aid. If you've ever drank Kool-Aid, this literally smells sweet and juicy, just like the juicy um, cherry uh, Kool-Aid. So, Nora really liked this one. She kept saying, oh, we need to buy more of that. Um, definitely would we buy this. This was a good one. Some candles. Y'all, I'm just going to grab and go. So, I used up a Goose Creek Carnival Apple. Now, this kind of semi filled up my living room. Not kind of, sort of. It was like a medium throw, I guess. It was really good to me it smelled just like authentic carnival apple that you would get from the carnival with like all the nuts and the caramel on it of course goose creek they don't have their scent notes so i know this has like green apple uh caramel and like something else but i can't really remember the notes this burned all the way through but i did have some issues with this burning now you guys know i keep it 100 when it comes to candles and anything else on my channel but this burned like I felt like the wax kept um, drowning in the wick. Um, so I would have to like burn two wicks and then um, blow them out for a little bit and then burn all three to kind of get it balanced out because it seemed like some of the wicks were a little bit longer and then sometimes they would drown in the wax so they would burn out quickly. But um, when I repurchased this, I really liked this scent. Um, maybe it was just like a really bad issue with the wigs but I would definitely repurchase this because this was a good scent. I also have another candle here. This is our family kitchen. This one burned really good. Now the last candle I just showed y'all which was a uh, carnival apple and welcome home. I actually burnt this together like one in my kitchen and one in my living room and I got compliments on um, how my house smelled when some of my fiance's friends came over. One girl was like, girl, what do you have burning up in here? And I was like, girl, it's a goose free candle. <laughs> but um, our family kitchen was really good. Um, it did have a, just a tiny little bit of sitting um, around the rim. Uh, this to me smelled like you're in your kitchen and you were baking um, some cookies. It just smelled really buttery, really sweet, a little spicy. Uh, definitely would repurchase this one. This one's good. This one was really, really good. Um, I went through an aromatherapy sleep. This was good. This is like an essential. Y'all know I do like lavender scents. I say this all the time on my channel. But uh, definitely would repurchase this. I went through a Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla Body Mist. Definitely would repurchase. This is a staple. I don't have a backup, surprisingly, so I'm going to have to go and get a backup of this. Um, but this is really good. It mixes very well with other fragrances. You need it if you've never tried it. Vanilla is just one of those really good universal scents that you can use whenever and with whatever. I went through a Happy Halloween shower gel. I like this shower gel. It was cute, you know, for uh, the holidays or whatever. Um, the only thing I wish that they implemented with this particular shower gel was that it was red instead of clear. That's just my only little nitpick about this, but otherwise it was good. It smelled like apple 
and it was good for Halloween. So I went through a whole set of Gingham Heart of Gold. <laughs> if you not have not checked out my review on Gingham Heart of Gold, I will definitely leave it up in the cards. But I went through the body mist, the shower gel, and the lotion. I didn't cut up the lotion because at that point I was just kind of over it. <laughs> um, would I repurchase this? No. Um, but if you want to hear more about my thoughts on this, definitely check out that review. I went through some body scrubs. Now, this was a set that I got from Ulta. Uh, this is the Tree Hut Body Scrub. I think it was for like the holidays. So I used up Sugar Plum Berries. There's a pink champagne I went through. There is a candy cane. Now, out of all three of these, literally my favorite was the this one, the Plum uh, Sugar Plum Berries. This was really good. And I used this scrub right before I got the shower and it literally like filled up my shower. I would definitely repurchase. The only complaint I have was that I felt like the candy cane of this was a little bit more liquidy than the other two scrubs. The other two scrubs were really thick and this was more like liquidy and like kind of more gritty in a sense uh, versus the other two. But I would definitely repurchase this. We have a candle. This is in finally fall. Burned all the way down. <laughs> all the way down, okay? I'm definitely going to reuse this. I've never had a candle just burn all the way down like this. So I'm going to definitely reuse this jar. But this was really good at the start of fall. Um, it, it just kind of gave you that smoky, like roasty um, campfire type of feel. Uh, so this was really good. Definitely really, really like this. And this actually filled up the house. This was like a huge flamethrower. It was strong. Like I didn't need nothing else but this when I was burning it. I went through a Acorn Lane um, single wick candle. This was good. Um, I think I burned this right after Family Fall because... This just gives me fall vibes. The scent notes of this is autumn leaves. Autumn leaves, worn cinnamon, and crisp gala apples. And it smells just like that. It smells like the start of fall. Really good. Um, they didn't bring this one back out from what I remember. But if they, if I happen to find it at like SAS or something, definitely pick it up. Because this is where I actually found this scent was at SAS. So. I went through one cotton candy cloud shower gel. I would repurchase that. Um, I actually had realized that I had like three of those. So I kind of like bundled down on my cotton candy clouds uh, because it's just so similar to Boardwalk Taffy that I realized, look, I don't need to be hoarding all these scents. So let me just use it up. So I used it up in the shower gel, the lotion. I actually have two of these. Um, body lotions but I don't know where the other one is but I did use up two of these so now all I have is Boreal Taffy in my collection <laughs> I went through a kitchen mandarin hand soap we have another hand soap here this is pumpkin apple would I repurchase this I felt like this was like a really really cinnamony cinnamony if that's a word <laughs> It was really heavy on the cinnamon. Um, it was okay. It's not my favorite, so I don't think I would repurchase this necessarily again. If it was on sale for like 75% off or something, definitely. But like the $2.95 sale, no, no, no. You can stay where it's at. <laughs> I went through another hand soap. This is Harvest Gather Gathering. And this was in the Lux, the Creamy Lux hand uh, soap. Girl this is so good like I think this is like actually my first creamy hand soap and I realized that they don't really make them in a lot of the scents so uh if I can find me a creamy Lux hand soap it is so moisturizing it's really good and I really like this scent scent notes are fresh pick apples autumn berries and clove buds really really good and I need to pick up the candle if the candle smells anything like the hand soap I definitely have to pick it up 
I went through a gel. This is the gel that I use for my wash and goes. I know a lot of you guys always ask about my wash and goes and what I use. I use the Extreme Wet Line Gel. It's like $2.99. You can get it at Walmart or Target. Target is amazing for wash and goes. Really, really love it. It's a staple for me. So, wood repurchase. We, I went through <laughs> a deodorant, right? So this is the Love Beauty and Planet deodorant. This is supposed to be like aluminum free. Um, it has coconut and white jasmine. Listen, I thought this deodorant was working, okay? Like I got like halfway through and I was like, mmm, just got your girl a little rank and I ain't feeling it. So I did not really complete all of this. Like it worked for like the first half of the stick and then... Once I like started like working out and stuff, it just was not working for me. So I would not repurchase this. Another deodorant I went through. Uh, this is another uh, plant-based deodorant. This is in Myro Pillow Talk. It's a plant-based deodorant. It's leaking too. That's that's really gross. Um, would I repurchase this? No. <laughs> this is another deodorant that I just did not get to go through. So I'm back using native deodorants because all of these other brands are just not working right now for your girl. So would not repurchase this. Okay, so I went through a Margarita Cupcake Body Mist. Would not repurchase this. This just did not work out for me. Um, it smelled like Clorox on me when I sprayed it. It's, it was good as a room spray. But on the body, it just did not work on my body chemistry. And I'm trying to get through the lotion. So, um, would not repurchase this. And y'all, I have like a whole nother set left of this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Maybe I can just skip it. But, uh, no. Not for your girl. I went through a ultra gentle cleaning, uh, foaming wash. Love this. This is a staple in my everyday makeup removal and just daily face wash love this would definitely repurchase if you've been watching my channel you should already know i have some onyx things in here so this is from the onyx bathhouse this is their scrub in cinnamon apple it was really good it was it smelled like an authentic cinnamon apple would definitely repurchase this type of um body scrub is hella moisturizing if you're looking for like a moisturizing body scrub it's gentle and it's also moisturizing. Really, really like it. So I went through a super duper soap. This soap was fantastic. Like it said really good. It left the skin moisturizing. It was a good price. Like this was literally my top pick. Probably the best body wash that I've used of 2021. No lie. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this. I'm actually on the hunt on for this. I need to look on Amazon and make sure I try to try try to find another one or something um this was really really good i went through a pacifica hawaiian ruby guava perfume hair and body mist it was okay um i didn't really care too much for it but i got it used up uh it was 4.99 i got it from target i went through a soap and glory righteous body butter this is a staple for me definitely would repurchase this i can't tell you how many times i have repurchased this in the past so i am stocked up for money for this this is really really good went through some more candles we have a goose creek candle here this was in blueberry potion this was cute for the time being it didn't burn too weird there too well there's a lot of sitting and of course you can tell i just couldn't keep this particular wig over here lit the whole time so uh would i rebuy this scent probably not um it was it just kind of smelled like a standard berry scent to me but like i said it was just cute for the time being especially because of the packaging i went through a cranberry woods this is a staple for me i love this scent so good i would definitely repick repick this up if you're wondering the scent notes are tart cranberry cinnamon bark forest forest cedar golden amber really really good i feel like this is like a perfect blend to start the fall off with as well have some more halloween candles i went through a midnight berry by goose creek this was really good as well i love that this was like a luminary so like you saw like the bats on the background um when you were burning the candle 
I really like this one. This one burnt pretty, it burned okay. It didn't burn all the way down, but there's like a little moth in there. So <laughs> I don't know how that got in there, but uh, this one was good. I like this one out of all the um, Halloween candles that I had got this year. We have another Spooky Buddies. This was cute. I like this one. This one smelled like cookies from what I remember. It burned all the way down. Girl. Okay, Goose Creek. I'm going to need all my candles to burn like this. Sometimes I get my candles to burn all the way down. And then sometimes, you know, y'all see, they don't burn all the way down. But this one was really good. Definitely will repurchase this. I went through a body cream. This is in Sunshine Mimosa. Would repurchase. I love this scent. I went through a Coconut Lime Tree Hut Shave Oil. Listen, these shave oils, I don't know where I've been sleeping at and sleeping on it, but this has become like a staple. Like I have to have a shave oil. No more shave creams for your girl. Shave oil is where it's at. It keeps the skin moisturized and slick and that's what i need so definitely would repurchase this i went through another hand soap this is in frosted cranberry this was really good um i would definitely rebuy it this felt this felt like a staple fall scent for me too and i normally like the scent scent notes are frosted cranberry red delicious apple and blonde woods really good would repurchase Went through some vitamins. Uh, well, these aren't really vitamins, but these are some melatonin sleep um, little gummies. I went through the kids sleep one from Ollie, and then I also went through the adult Ollie. Now I do have like an issue like sleeping all the way through the night. Did this really help? Probably not. Um, <laughs> I mostly took these on like Friday night, so I could kind of like wind down, but. Um, I don't think I would re would rebuy these. I don't feel like they really help me sleep any longer than what I usually do because I still kind of woke up in the middle of the night. So probably would not repurchase these. I went through a Clear Skin RX. Y'all know I love me some RX skincare. Would repurchase this. This has been like a staple for me for like the last two years using RX Urban RX skincare. So I do enjoy this. I went through a body mist and fairy tale. This is the mini would repurchase. I went through a cucumber and lily antibacterial hand spray. I can't really remember what this smelled like. Okay, I would repurchase this. This is more like a clean feel. Yeah, this was good. I would repurchase it. I got some little wallflowers. I went through peppermint sugar cookie y'all know i've been raving about peppermint sugar cookie it's really good would definitely repurchase i stopped um pulled it out of the wallflower because at this point it wasn't really smelling like anything but this is good i went through a wallflower in winterberry reef would i repurchase it yeah i mean it definitely gave me like a winter vibe so definitely will repurchase this by the way, my kid picked out these wallflowers, and these wallflowers have been going in her room. <laughs> so I have a wallflower in gingerbread marshmallow. Gingerbread wa marshmallow will fill your room up, okay? I went through that. It was really good. Would definitely repurchase this one. I went through a body cream in fairy tale. Of course, you guys know I would repurchase this. This is good. Went through a pocket bag. This is in a pumpkin apple. Now, I think in the past I've heard people say that the red uh, handbag pocket bags makes people's hand, like the palms of their hand, turn red. I didn't have that issue. Uh, would I repurchase this? Probably not. Only if my kid picked it up, but and she picked this one out. But I just wouldn't go for this particular scent. I went through some makeup products. Not a lot. Um, I went through a Max Fix Plus. Of course, I'm going to say this for the back to Mac. Would definitely repurchase. I went through a Mac Compact, of course. This is just the mineralized skin finish. Been using this for like 12 years. So I've repurchased it so many times. I definitely would repurchase. Went through a lip liner. This is in. Um, 
Everlasting by Kat Von D. Of course, they've changed the name to KVD Beauty, but this is in the shade Crucifix. This is like a really red tone brown liner. I love me a good red tone brown liner, and I really enjoyed this one, so I would definitely repurchase. I went through a Smashbox concealer. I love Smashbox, and I love their concealers. Definitely would repurchase this. This is like a staple for me. This is in the shade Medium Dark Warm Golden, and it is so good for just like a simple everyday work makeup look. Um, this is the go-to concealer for me. Went through a mascara. Um, in essence, this is in the lash something, false, false lash effect. This was good. Um, it was only like $4.99 at Ulta. Definitely would be purchased. This was actually my first time using it because I had been hearing people rave about this for years and I kind of just like forgot about it so I went like on like a mascara hunt and found it loved it made my glasses look amazing definitely would be purchased this all right sis that is the end of this empties video did you enjoy it let me know leave me a thumbs up and sis if you're not subscribed what is you doing go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video bye sis